Welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you how to do front brakes on a 2011 Nissan Quest. Now, there's an easy way of doing this, especially if the front calipers aren't uh, a double caliper, got two pistons on each caliper. If it's a single one, very easy. It's going to get you a flat screwdriver. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is pop the hood, take the master cylinder cap off. You want to always do that when you do brakes so you don't cause no back pressure or anything. Everything is, you know, everything's great. Then we're going to jack it up and pull off these front wheels. Alright, I'm going to get that done. You go get it done. And when we come back, we're ready to do some brakes. Now before we start, what we want to do is put something, a piece of cardboard or something, that'll be your work area. It's right here because, you know, we want to keep it clean, keep the concrete clean and all. So put something under there. Now being that we're working on this side, and this is, does have a dual piston caliper, so we're going to do this the way of um, popping the caliper off, <coughs> pushing the pistons back. When you push the pistons back on these calipers, you gotta remember, once you start pushing them back, brake fluid's gonna start backing up, up into the master cylinder. Up here, and as you can see, I got the cap off already, like I told you, and it's already almost full. So when I do, there's a good chance it's spilling over. So you might wanna get you a little bowl or something to put up under here, or if there's no room, Take a lot of paper towels and you start soaking this up. Get this down, you know, to a level about here. So when you push it back, you don't have no mess everywhere. So let's go over here and get some um, paper towels. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, here's the master cylinder. What I did is got me a little plastic bag. Open it up. Get some paper towels. Paper towels will start soaking this up. So avoid this thing having a big mess up under there. Brake fluid spilling everywhere. You know, that's just messy. So we do that. Now on this last one, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the paper towels stuck in there. Let's go over there and pull that caliper off. Okay, as you can see, I turned the wheel for you. Back this up. Okay, and what you wanna do is get you a 17 millimeter socket. Take off the bottom bolt. So we can swing this around. Don't worry about taking off the top one. Let's take off the bottom one. Swing the caliper up. Keep it in place. There we go. I mean about the double pistons right there. Let's get you a better closer look at that. Now, what we're gonna do here get these little clips right here to keep the brake pads from staying up against the rotors. Let's pop those out. Remember to put the new ones back in. Let's take one of the old brake pads. Put it right up against the caliper, just like that. Doesn't matter, either side, you're garbage anyway. Get yourself a C-clamp. Get that C-clamp in place. And then we're gonna turn that C-clamp get that back. Let's 
Now sometimes you can just squeeze one, and then the other one will start to will automatically start to go out, start to go back. As you can see, that one's starting to do. If it, if yours don't do that, you know, alternate from side to side. So you get it back and we're all the way back now what we're going to do is just go over here make sure that one's back okay this one's ready to put back together let's go up here take a look at our master cylinder as you can see some fluid started leaking already which i didn't want to happen so now what we're going to do is this old paper we're going to take out clean it wipe it off and put some new in there put some new one in there all right let's get that done and then we're gonna go back over here and start putting these brakes in we'll be right back okay we got our brakes set out wagon brakes great brakes you always want to make sure your brakes have these anti shims on them these are federated wagon brakes are great brakes um because that'll stop a lot of squealing you notice this this brake set comes with all the new sliders and uh, brake pads brake pad spreaders so let's get that done so first of all on this side we're on the left side so what you want to do is take the brake pad because these got some of them have little wear sensors on them you want to take the brake pad with the flat end down on this vehicle and I'll see how this is on the right side so I know this is going to be on the right side wheel so we look up in here and find the one on the left side. Then there's one that doesn't have nothing. So we know we're going to do that. Two of those sliders. Two of the brake pad spreaders. And get the brake loop. That sort of brake pads can slide better. Okay, let's set our camera up over here. Alright, first thing we'll do, take the other brake pad out, these little pieces just pop down, and this one pops up, let's put our new ones down, just slide into place, Oops, got that upside down. Okay, let's get the upper one. Okay, now what you want to do here, take a little bit of your brake lube, break that top off. You just want to put it on the sliders. Let me take a little bit. Take one of these. You want to put it on the inside of each side, just so that brake pad can slide. Try not to get none on the rotor. Okay. The the pad with the wear sensor in. Make sure our fingers is clean for that. It's going to go on the inboard inside. You know, put that, slide that into place. Put the one on the outboard. Now our brake pad spreaders. Notice how I'm putting them in there. I have to hold them into place because it will spread those right out. Let's get the bottom one in. Again, hold it into place. Okay, 
Now, got to keep them in, keep them in place because the brisket will come out. Bring your brake caliper down. Put your bolt back in. Again, 17 millimeter bolt. And remember, we didn't loosen up the top one, so we ain't got to worry about that. Tighten that up. Let's put the wheel on, and then we're going to go to the next side. All right? I'll meet you on the other side. All right, let's get to this other side. Let's take this tire off. That's done. Okay, we're set up. You should know what to do. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. And you just follow along. You go up there and put a new uh, paper towel inside the master. Okay, there we go.
Remember the one, the, the pad with the wear sensor on the inside. Right, we'll take our old hardware, brake shoes, brake pads, throw them in the box, get it out of the way. Let's get this tire bolted back on. We'll be right back. Okay, we got our tire on. Now, this part is very important. Um, all right, brake fluid is pretty full. Let's cap this off. Get our stuff from under there. We got a paper towel and clean that off right there. Let's go over here. Now, what you need to do is before I open this up, we take this glove off. You got to pump the brakes up before you move this vehicle because when you first step on the brakes, it's going to go right to the floor. For instance, okay. Here we down at the brake pedal. Now watch what happens when I push the brake pedal. Watch how far it goes down. See that? That's almost to the floor. Now as I pump it up, see that? Now it's right there. You're pumping that fluid back into the caliper, pushing that caliper back out so it meets up with the brake pads and then the rotor. All right, now we're all set. We're gonna let the jack down. Again, we're gonna wipe that little brake fluid off of there. And uh, then uh, we're done. We'll be right back. Okay, there you have it. How to do front brakes on the 2011 Nissan Quest. Um, word of advice, if you're in uh, whatever, whatever area you're in, if you're close to a uh, Fisher Auto Parts, because they deal with Federated, Get those parts. They they might be a little bit more, but uh, much much better quality. You know, because when we do when we, when we do work, especially with brakes, we gotta put on the best. You can't have nobody go out there losing their brakes. <laughs> this is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can.